everyone. Today we are talking all things fall decor related at Joann's and Michael's. I'm going to take you for a shop with me and share with you which stores have the better deals, what items I found online as well, and also what I picked up to use to decorate my home for this fall season. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, and let's get into it. I'm going to take you to Joann's first. I really like the variety and different styles of pumpkins that they have out. Some of them are a little expensive, but that's where you just need to pick and choose what you would like more of. I love the squirrels and just a little bit of different vibes going on with the fall decor this year. I like all the wood tones that they have. I think they're really nice. You can fill these containers with pumpkins if you want. The pillows at Joann's were beautiful. I love the prints, but they are not covers nor do they squish. So that is one thing that I don't like about the pillows is that you can't shape them in any way. I have DIY'd a lot of pumpkins in the past years and fabric ones are super easy to do. You can fill them with fluff or you can use an existing pumpkin and cover them with fabric. So if there is something that you see, use that as an idea to create your own for a fraction of the cost, especially if you have the supplies. If you have some fall fabric, use it. Don't feel like you have to go out and buy something new. Just repurpose some old stuff and give it a little makeover.
one thing is Joann's had pretty signs, but they were really expensive. So if there's something you want to splurge on and you can't make it, then definitely buy the sign. But a lot of these I feel like you could make. I like that they were a little bit different. They weren't fully the fall themed. Um, they had beautiful colors and stuff, but it wasn't anything like overpowering for fall, which I thought was kind of nice. I think Joann's floral stems and bundles were a fairly good price, especially being get a lot of things between four and six dollars. Some of them have a realistic look, some don't. It just depends on the colors you're going for. Their garlands were really pretty as well. Definitely not uh, very realistic in my opinion, but it all depends on what kind of you're going for. And you could add some more realistic greenery to some of these things as well. But their wreath selection was really pretty. So what did you think of Joann's Fall the Course selection? I personally loved the colors that they brought out. I liked all the wood uh, tones that I saw and the squirrels. They make my heart happy because it makes my son's heart happy seeing squirrels and he has them as well. But I, one of the reasons why I do these type of shop with me videos is so that you can see what items that you like and compare them to the different stores. Because when I show you Michael's here in a second, you're going to see what is a better value there versus Joann's, what's a better value at Target versus Joann's and so on, so on. So I have a few more videos to share with you, um, but I hope this is helpful to you because I personally like going to the stores and seeing what's a better buy. Um, I did not buy anything fall related actually at Joann's, but I did pick up these two vases that were on clearance. I really liked the detail on them and the colors that they had. They look um, kind of old. I know it's just paint. These are pretty raw, so you could paint them if you want to. And like I said in my previous fall video, you can, if you don't like the color of something, paint it. It's the perfect time to do that, especially with pumpkins and things like that. Spray paint it, give it a look you want and repurpose it. Don't get rid of it just because it's the wrong color. Mm -mm. These vases are really nice. I paid like 16 bucks for the set, which is great because they were originally 24 and 40. So 16 bucks for both. I think that's a great price. Also, if you couldn't get your hands on the uh, Studio McGee Target vase that I shared recently, it's rounded, fluted like this. I have the style that goes up and then in. This is a great option for it. It's not exactly the same, but has the same kind of color texture. So check your local Joann's and see if you can find them. I will, of course, link everything that I can find online for you in the description box. Just tap the arrow there. It'll take you to everything. And I also, you can follow me on Like to Know It on my blog, and I'll have things posted there as well. But now I'm going to take you into Michael's. I feel like they had a really good selection as well, and I definitely picked up a few things for fall there. And I'll show you that at the end of the shop with me. This sign is really cute and reminds me of one I've made with Dollar Tree products in the past years. This is such a beautiful sign. I love that the letters pop out from it and it's a really good price for all the details that you see in the sign. I thought it was just gorgeous. They definitely brought out the traditional fall colors here. Some of the oranges were a little bright for me, but other ones were a little bit more muted like this sign I thought were really pretty. Definitely like those small pumpkins like this. Dollar Tree is a better buy, even at $1.25. These glass blown ones were really pretty, but they're a little bit on the pricier side because these weren't very big. Those were about four inches and these were probably around six inches tall, but they had some really pretty charges. You'll see a few different uh, styles throughout the shop with me part, but definitely a good buy there.
You'll notice that Michael's for fall brought out different canisters and containers, and they did a lot of different sizes and colors, which I think are nice. These would be great year round, and you could store different items in them, which is wonderful, depending on your kitchen color scheme. But I really like the different size signs and objects that they brought out because you can really layer in the pieces for built-ins and stuff. Okay, love the apple theme going on in this area and Michael's. I just thought it was so pretty. So if you like that more burgundy red color, the apple area is where you wanna be. Their pillows were really pretty. I like the embroidery on them, but none of them were covers either, which drives me nuts for holiday pillows. They need to be covers for the most part. So I just wish they would jump on board with that. But they had some really cozy blankets uh, to choose from in different colors, really pretty vases as well. Um, again, you can look for items that you could use year round, not just for a specific holiday. I definitely think their florals give a more realistic look for some of them, but definitely the garlands, these styles, were really pretty. They're not as shiny as the ones at Joann's, which I think is nice, so they don't have, give off that fake look to them. But I like that these had like um, sunflowers and flowers on both sides of the um, garland, so that when you're decorating with them, you don't have to worry about positioning it a certain way. Cause your love is strong. When it comes to pre-done florals and wreaths, if there's something that you see that you feel like is a little bit too high of a price for you, you can always piece out the items individually and then make your own. And if there's a color scheme that you can't find that you really like, again, make your own. If you want it to look a little bit more natural, then pick at least three to five different floral varieties and combine them together. And then when you're done with them, you can use them individually if you want to. To resist, got me looking like this, like the one before. Cause I must be strong. Cause this might go on for long. Cause I was wrong, and he's always there for you.
So I really liked Michael's fall decor. I like that they group different items together. So if you have a specific theme that you want to go with, everything is right there. Some items were definitely a little higher than they should have been, but their signs I thought were a really good deal, even at 40% off. You know, you can get a sign for $12 and it has all the wood details on it and beautiful colors. I thought those were really nice. Um, I did pick up a few items for fall. Some of them I can use year round, um, obviously not pumpkins, but I did pick up these really pretty wooden lanterns and I got them in two different sizes. These are really nice. I really like lanterns lately. The glass part does come out on these, so it just slides right in. So if you wanted to put a faux candle in there, you could, um, but you can also put a regal one and it will protect the wood for you. These are really nice. You can layer these on stairs and things. You could use them indoor or outdoor, which is what I like. I did find this really pretty rust color uh, floral stem online. I didn't see it in the store yet. I might have just passed it because there was just so much to look at, but this was definitely a better deal than Target's that I shared in my last video. So if you missed my last video, I shared uh, all the new Target uh, Hearth and Hand line for fall. Um, and I like a lot of the items, but some things you can get a little bit cheaper um, at Joann's and Michael's. I liked these two florals. This one is really pretty. It's a different type of daisy. I was drawn to this last year as well. Each, this is a bundle, so quite a bit of flowers for each bundle here. Um, it was $10, so they were $6 on sale. Um, not bad, but if you group two of them together, it makes for a nice pair. And this is something that you could use in spring. You could also use this in late summer, like right now would be a really nice time to use these and also for fall. Um, and that's the nice thing about some florals that you get is that you can use them for many more than just one season. These florals remind me of pine cones. They're similar to a pine cone. Can you see that on there? But I like the different tones that they had in here. And one bundle has quite a few. When you are shopping for these, make sure that none of the tops are popped off. If they are, grab a different one. Um, these were $6 a bundle. This one you need a little bit more, so I did pick up three, and that would fit into a vase really nicely. And they're wired, so you can bend them out and shape them in the vase however you like. Aren't these pretty? I really liked this pumpkin because I don't have the braided style pumpkin in my collection. I have a lot of pumpkins. So I thought these would be a great um, investment. There's only a $3 difference in the size, which I thought was a little bit strange, but they have a hard wire on the inside and then the stuff is woven on the outside. They're really sturdy. It's not like coming apart or anything. So it's nice and tightly woven, which I like. It's nice quality. So even though I can't use them year round, they are still beautiful for fall and just a nice neutral staple and everything. And again, you can use them indoor or out, but I hope you enjoyed coming along, shopping with me at Michael's and Joann's for all their fall decor. Let me know if you picked up anything. Again, I will have everything linked in the description box below for you, tap the little arrow there. I'll take you to everything and I also wanted to share with you since fall is approaching is a company called Wild Grain. They ship fresh bread, pastries, and pastas straight to your door and I'm talking sourdough bread and it is amazing and you don't have to wait two or three days if you're making it at home. I absolutely love to bake and I will be sharing some recipes with you soon but if you've ever made sourdough it's a two to three day process for making it and they make some really good bread and they make different flavors in it and they ship it straight to your home it comes frozen and then all you have to do is pop in the oven for around 25 minutes and you have fresh baked bread pastries or you have fresh pasta that you can make for your family for dinner or for lunch and it's so good there's clean ingredients for supporting small bakeries i love their concept and i've been getting their boxes since january and they gave me a 30 dollar off coupon code for you that actually gets you free croissants for every box that you order, which I think is great. I've tried making fresh croissants and it was a disaster and it took so much time and I was like, this was a total fail. So I just get my croissants from Wild Grain. They are delicious. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next one for some more fall decor related ideas and fall decorating to come. <music>